Judith Rossner's novel, Looking for Mr. Goodbar, was published in 1975 and became a sensation due to its stark portrayal of a young woman's self-destructive behavior. The novel is loosely based on the real-life murder of a young teacher named Roseanne Quinn, who was killed by a man she had picked up in a bar. The book tells the story of Teresa Dunn, a young woman living in New York City who becomes involved in a series of sexual relationships with men she meets in bars and clubs. One of the most striking aspects of the novel is its structure. The book is divided into three sections, each of which represents a different phase in Teresa's life. In the first section, we see Teresa as a young teacher, living with her parents and searching for love and fulfillment in the city's bars and clubs. This section is characterized by a sense of innocence and optimism, as Teresa believes that she will eventually find the right man and live happily ever after. The second section of the novel represents a turning point in Teresa's life. She meets a man named Martin and becomes involved in a passionate, but ultimately destructive relationship with him. This section is marked by a sense of darkness and foreboding, as Teresa's life begins to spiral out of control. Rossner's use of foreshadowing is particularly effective here, as she hints at the tragic events that are to come. The final section of the novel depicts Teresa's descent into self-destruction. She becomes involved with a series of men, many of whom are abusive and dangerous. The novel's climax comes when Teresa meets a man named Gary, who is later revealed to be the same man who killed Roseanne Quinn. The novel ends with Teresa's brutal murder, as she becomes yet another victim of the violent world in which she lived. Throughout the novel, Rosner explores a number of themes, including the search for identity, the dangers of sexual promiscuity, and the role of violence in society. One of the most interesting aspects of the book is the way in which it challenges traditional notions of gender roles. Teresa is a complex and contradictory character, at once strong and independent, yet also vulnerable and desperate for love. Rossner's portrayal of Teresa's sexuality is particularly noteworthy, as she refuses to judge or condemn Teresa for her promiscuity, instead presenting her as a fully realized human being with a complex inner life. Another important theme of the novel is the idea of self-destruction. Teresa's behavior is marked by a sense of recklessness and self-destructiveness, as she continually puts herself in dangerous situations with men she barely knows. Rossner suggests that this behavior is a form of rebellion against the constraints of society, as Teresa seeks to assert her independence and autonomy in a world that seeks to control and define her. In conclusion, Looking for Mr. Goodbar is a powerful and haunting novel that explores the complexities of human sexuality, identity, and violence. Rossner's vivid and evocative prose brings Teresa's world to life, and her complex and contradictory character is a testament to the author's skill and insight. Although the novel is often difficult and uncomfortable to read, it is ultimately a deeply moving and thought-provoking work of literature.